Welcome to Kill Devil Hills, a coastal community on the Outer Banks Barrier Islands of North Carolina, situated in the Atlantic Township. For generations, people from across the globe have visited the pristine coast for its unmatched beauty and recreational opportunities. Many have made Kill Devil Hills their home. As we turn westward from the Ocean Bay Boulevard beach access, the first fully accessible beach access in Dare County, we move into the heart of our community. Once a small village surrounded by sand dunes and sparse scrub vegetation, Kill Devil Hills has flourished with the influx of residents and visitors from a tourism-based economy. It is the largest municipality in Dare County, surpassing the population of the once thriving, now abandoned logging community, Buffalo City, which was located on the Dare mainland. In the shadow of the Wright Brothers National Monument, we're going to explore part of the community known as the Bomb Tract. Kill Devil Hills native, Diane Baum St. Clair, model, businesswoman, former mayor, and philanthropist, deeded a large tract of land to the town at a huge discount. The land extended between Collington Road and Baum Street from US 158 to the Albemarle Sound. The 320-acre tract was purchased by the town in 1983 for $1,500,000, $4.5 million in today's money, with a deed restriction to be used for the benefits of the citizens of the town of Kildovel Hills. To give you some idea of the amazing scope of the property and how it has been used to benefit the community, the original acreage has either been leased or sold by the town and has been utilized for the Thomas A. Baum Center, honoring Miss St. Clair's father, Outer Banks Chamber of Commerce, the Kill Devil Hills branch of the Dare County Library, the Dare County Family Recreation Park, Dare County's first reverse osmosis water plant, First Flight High School, First Flight Middle School, First Flight Elementary School, Warren Judge Stadium, the KCR Logan Disc Golf Course, the KDH Town Hall Complex, and Aviation Park. Kill Devil Hills has had several town hall locations since its incorporation in 1953. The first town hall was located in the corner of East Baum Street and NC-12, currently Jack Brown's. Later town meetings were held in the original Avalon Market across the street from the Avalon Pier in the early 1960s. Once constructed, the town's original fire station on the Croatan Highway was used for town meetings and also housed all town departments and staff. In 1988, the administration department were the first employees relocated to the site of the current town hall, located just south of the Wright Brothers Memorial, almost directly across from the memorial's original entrance. Only a few concrete pillars of the original entrance are all that remain. Nestled among azaleas and live oak trees, the west wing of the current town hall building was a beachfront home that was relocated to this site and elevated. Originally known as the Council House, the structure's lower floor was enclosed and became the town's meeting room. The east wing of the building was added to the original structure in 2000, and the remaining town departments were relocated once the building was completed. The ship's watch of the building features a handcrafted stained glass window of the town seal. The window was constructed as a gift by longtime town clerk Mary Elizabeth Quidley and her mother Carolyn. Also, if you look closely, you can see that atop the building is a weather vane, which is a miniature replica of the Wright Flyer. Another oceanfront home was relocated to the complex and repurposed as the town's public services administrative offices. The town's aviation park, which honors Orville and Wilbur Wright, is situated beside the town hall complex. Dedicated to former town commissioner Jim Murphy, the park offers a community designed skate park, a playground, a pavilion, Dare County's first and only roller hockey rink, along with walking areas to enjoy. Mary's Paws Park is a very popular locale for our canine residents and their human guests, and is divided into three sections for small, large, and senior dogs. However, the main feature of the park is the Frog Pond, which was originally built by Diane Baum St. Clair. Her idea was to raise frogs to provide local seafood restaurants with a regular supply of frogs' legs. Although her plans were not exactly successful, everyone loves the pond which is surrounded by a walking path with exercise stations and an observation dock. You'll be sure to see many turtles and a frog or two. Aviation Park hosts the town's annual Wright Lights Illumination, First Flight Farmer's Markets, Ice Cream Social, and Trash Attack Community Cleanup Events. The KCR Logan Disc Golf Course is one of the town's newest amenities, opening in 2019. The course is located on a 44-acre site, the last undeveloped portion of the bomb tract. 
the area is bordered by Run Hill, which has been designated a state natural area managed by the North Carolina State Park System. The site is also the northern point of the maritime forest, making it a pristine natural area in town. The disc golf course consists of 18 holes and features both amateur and professional fairways. People of all ages and skill levels can enjoy a fun and challenging time out in the wilderness. Future plans in this area include nature paths through the acreage, as well as access to Buzzards Bay. We hope you have enjoyed this aerial visit to Kill Devil Hills. Please come and see for yourself why for generations, visitors have traveled to Kill Devil Hills to make it a part of their family traditions. And locals simply call it home sweet home. <laughs>